The first few months after your baby is born are probably the most exciting for you, but as the time goes by, it will get tougher and tougher for you to handle everything by yourself. Here are some tips on how to handle all the chores at home so that you can be with your baby as much as possible. Before you bring the baby home, ask your mother or a friend to come over and help you clean up. That way you don't have to do too much and you can enjoy the first time seeing your baby. During the first month or two, the baby will probably be sleeping a lot. This is a good time to clean or do other tasks around the house. But if you don't want to wake up the baby, ask someone to help you. Don't feel guilty when you ask someone to help you. It will be hard for you to do all these chores alone, but your baby needs you as much as you need him. Make a schedule for yourself and stick to it. You can always add extra chores during the day if you think you might need a break. Ask someone to take care of your baby when you need a break. You will still have time to spend with your baby while someone else takes care of him. Don't overdo it. It's important for you to rest when you need to. It's better to clean or cook for a few hours every day than do it all in one huge session. You'll get bored and exhausted much faster this way. If you are really busy, make sure you can still get a nap at least once a day. Ask a friend or relative to help you with the laundry. You can do more with the laundry if you have another person to help you. If you can't do the laundry alone, ask someone to do it for you. Your baby needs clothes and you will be happier if he has clean ones. You can do the dishes if you don't have anyone to help you, but it's best if you ask someone to help you with this. You will feel less stressed if someone else is doing the work for you. Try to cook at least once a week. Cooking can be a fun and relaxing activity. Plus, cooking will save you money and give you a break from cleaning. It's better to eat out once in a while than to spend all of your time cooking. Ask someone to come over and cook for you so that you can spend more time with your baby. You can also have a day off every once in a while. Don't let your baby sleep in your bed. If he falls asleep in the same room with you, he could get hurt and wake up crying. When you are ready to put the baby to sleep, try to make sure there aren't too many things in the room with him. Always use a baby monitor. This will allow you to know what your baby is doing and you can keep an eye on him even when you are asleep. A good night's sleep is very important for your baby's growth, so make sure you can get enough rest every night. Make sure that your baby gets enough sunlight. Babies should never stay too long in a dark room because they need light to grow and develop. Try to feed your baby at the same time each day, unless he tells you that he's hungry earlier. This will help your baby develop a rhythm and sleep better at night. If you think that your baby is getting too much sleep during the day, ask someone to come over and play with him. Make sure your baby is well taken care of during the night, so he can get a good rest and grow healthy. Always make sure that there are no objects around your baby that could cause any harm. For example, don't let him play with scissors, knives, or anything else that could cut or hurt him. Never leave your baby alone for too long. For example, you can take him for a walk in the park for about half an hour and then come back. When your baby is sick, ask someone to look after him while you take care of him. Always make sure that you change your baby's diaper regularly and change his clothes every day. If you have to leave your baby for too long, ask someone to watch him for you. This way he will be safe. Keep all of your baby's food and medicine in a safe place so that he will not get lost. Take your baby on a trip once in a while to give him some exercise and let him meet new people. Make sure that your baby is never left alone with an unfamiliar child, even if he has been playing with them all the time. Do not forget to feed your baby after he comes home from a trip or from being looked after by another person. Make sure that your baby doesn't get bored by playing the same games or watching the same cartoons over and over again. Change his toys or cartoons from time to time. When you feel like watching a movie with your baby, always make sure that you have a crib or bed ready for him so that he can sleep in his own bed at night. Make sure that you don't leave any dangerous items around your baby, especially if you live in a house where there are other people around. Make sure that there is no way for your baby to get into anything dangerous, such as cabinets that contain dangerous chemicals or electrical appliances. If your baby is still too young to be left alone at home, ask a friend or family member to come over every once in a while and play with them. Don't make your baby drink water if he has just eaten. It's better to wait until he is thirsty before giving him water. It's always good to keep a lot of things on hand when you have a baby at home. For example, have a spare outfit ready just in case your baby gets dirty. It's important that you check on your baby regularly when he's asleep or awake, but you shouldn't wake him up unless it's absolutely necessary. If you wake him up too often, it will stress him out. If you are going to the bathroom, it's important that someone else takes care of your baby first in case something happens and you don't make it in time. Don't let anyone take care of your baby who has had a cold or who has been sick recently unless they have had their doctor's permission to take care of the child. Keep all your baby's toys and books in one room, so it will be easier for you to take care of him. If you can't be at home every time your baby needs something, ask someone else to watch him for you, such as your parents or neighbor. If something bad happens and your baby cries, don't get angry. Your baby needs you to comfort him and to make sure that everything is all right. Never leave your baby alone in the bath for too long, even if he has learned how to stay there for himself. You don't need to worry about making a mistake when you are taking care of your baby. As long as you learn from it, it's not a big deal. 
Make sure that all the chores at home are done, even if you are busy taking care of your baby. You won't feel good about yourself if you don't keep up with the housework. Try not to blame yourself for any mistakes that happen around the house. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes and it's important to learn from them. Never hit or shy at your baby or shy him if he cries. It's important that you don't scare him by shouting or hitting him. You can always go back and take care of him once you have calmed down. You can never take care of your baby perfectly, but there is always something that can be done to make things better. And it's always better to do more than less than nothing. When your baby is sleeping at night, always keep a light on in the room. This will help him sleep better and he will wake up feeling much better in the morning. Make sure that you change your baby's diapers every day and wash his clothes once in a while, no matter how tired you are. You can always do this a little later on in the day, but not later than one hour before bedtime. If you can't do the housework yourself, ask someone else to help you with it, or ask them to do some extra chores in the house, like washing the car or taking out the garbage. This way you can spend more time with your baby. Don't forget that your baby will grow fast in the first few years of his life, so he will need bitter clothes and bitter toys for a while. Don't feel guilty about this, because this is part of being a good parent. Don't feel guilty for being away from home for work or school, even if it is only for a few hours. Your baby will be fine at home while you are gone, but he will get lonely when you are gone too long. Remember that it is very important for your baby to see other children from time to time. So, even if it's only for a little while, take your baby with you to visit other children in the neighborhood or at daycare centers or day camps. It's very important that you teach your baby how to get along well with other kids in the future. It will help him make new friends when he grows up. 